Welcome back to Fusion 360 tutorial. Here we will make the gear of the pump, okay? So we'll make the two gears here and the pinion here. So open your Fusion and let's go. First go to create a sketch, select the front plane here. Now select the circle, click here in this point. In the midpoint, make a circle here with 77 millimeters of diameter. Okay, finish the sketch. Go to extrude, extrude this 40 millimeters. Operation new body, press OK. Now go to create a sketch, select this face here, select circle, click here in the midpoint, make a circle with. 77 millimeters and another one with 61 millimeters and another circle with 48.75 millimeters press ok the circle of 61 millimeters it is, it is a construction line okay we have this select line a construction line Click here in the midpoint, make a construction line here and make another one from the midpoint to the circle here. Go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines here is 90 degrees. Okay. Go to create, select arc, three point arc to make the teeth of the gear. Okay. Click here. The, the arc must be coincident with the circle and this construction line here. And make it click another side to this point here, to this circle. It's not a construction arc, okay? Go to construct, select coincident, select this point in this circle here, okay? Let's see, two coincident, okay? That means this coincident with this line and here this coincident with this line the circle okay go to sketch dimension the radius here is 13 millimeters of radius press ok now oh sorry now go to create and select mirror the object is the arc and the mirror line is the construction line Press OK. We have this sketch. We have this profile here that we will use. Finish the sketch. Go to Extrude. Select this profile here. The direction is one side. The extended type is all. Flip this. Operation Cut. Press OK. We have this. Now go to Circular Pattern. The object type is the features, is the last cut, and the axis is the green axis here or the Z. That is the same, okay? The quantity is 10. Press OK. We have this here. Now go to body, copy this, click here in the gear pump, paste. Okay. Let's move this a little bit okay let's hide the second gear go to create sketch select this space here select the circle click here in this point make a circle here with 15 millimeters of diameter and go to two point rectangle make a rectangle here with 9.8 millimeters by 5 millimeters, press OK. Go to Constraint, select the midpoint, click on this line and the midpoint here. That's it. Finish the sketch. Go to Extra, select this profile. Extend type all. Flip this, operation cut, press OK. We have this. Now go to this body here. Create a component from this body, rename this, we call gear 1, 
okay let's show the housing let me move this a little bit show the housing and show the shaft okay go to joint select this this center here the center of the circle and click here in this face we have this the distance here seven minus seven millimeters okay and let's move this a little bit okay the motion here is rigid red is okay let me see let me see the joints here we have something wrong here let me the rigid four let's edit this joint the motion here is not rigid it is revolute let's press press ok now let me show the connector here the bushing the body here and now let me animate this okay let me see if it have anything more moving no yeah that's okay um let me see if it's the correct dimension Ooh. let me expect this in this face here Uh, yeah it is good okay now let's make the another another body here let me hide this okay hide the joints Go to create, select this space here, select circle, make a circle here in the center of the gear with 15 millimeters. Press OK. Finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile here, the extended type all operation cut, press OK. We have this now make a component from this body let's rename this gear 2 okay let's see the housing and the let me move the gear a little bit see the other gear the shaft in the pushing here go to joint select this circle here and select this circle here click in this face and select the center here okay we have this let's move this to make this Forty four. That's okay. The motion. The motion here is revolute. The position. Let me change this a little bit. Let me put seventeen here. 80 press ok we have this let me see if it's not if it is correct correct size yeah it's not touching okay we have these two gears here mm. show the joints 
and go to assembly select the motion link the joint select the Revolut 4 and the Revolut 11 here yeah that's correct press ok let me test this and make joint relationship we have this that's okay now let's hide the gears and the housing show the show the connect spacer we have this now go to extra let me hide the house connector space okay go to extra select this face here extrude this face Fifty four, that's okay. Let me see fifty five, fifty four. Okay, because it is operation new body, press okay. Now create a component from this body. Let's rename this. And name this pin. Let's move this a little bit. Now go to you can remove this. Go to joint. Select this face here. This at and select this at here. We can move this a little bit one millimeter or minus zero point five millimeter that's okay press okay now let me hide the analysis we have this let me go to fillet select this side here and this side here make a fillet here of 0 0.5 millimeters press ok we have this let's put some color here let me hide the house just see what is happening Sorry. Let me make the motion here. Animate joint. That's okay. For the last video, we'll make the bearing that we'll fix here and the and for the next video we'll make the bearing and fix the bearing here. Okay. So one more video, we will finish the series. Okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos and bye bye.